today we are talking about shoes, training shoes, the shoes that I use for training, running, and training and running. But there's different types that I have and I pick my shoe based on pretty much the activity that I'm doing, but also of course my outfit. But today I'm mostly gonna talk about functionality of my shoes and why I choose them. So um, what's what's our first shoe? The Nike Air Zoom Pegasus. Go ahead, repeat it. Nike Air Zoom Pegasus. Okay, now this is actually a go-to shoe for anything, anything. I mean, I know that if I put this on, I can go do any activity. Specifically, I would say this is the best for running. I run in these shoes, in, indoors, outdoors. It's the best running shoe that I have right now. I used to run in Saucony's. Is that how you say it? A lot of runners use Saucony's and Brooks. I think those are the most two popular shoes. I think they are. Um, so I used to love the Saucony's for running. And then I wore those shoes out and then I never bought another pair and then I got these. I was like, wow, these are awesome for running. So this is good for running, training, anything. This is your go-to. What's next? The Adidas Ultra Boost. 3.0. 3.0. Okay, Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0. Don't give me a quiz after this, please. I'm not I'm not into that right now. Okay. So this shoe is ultra comfortable. It's called Ultra Boost, but it's ultra comfortable. This shoe feels amazing on your foot. I mean, if you're going to go walking around Europe, I would say this is a good shoe. If you're going to I would say it's okay for some cardio. I wouldn't say running. I wouldn't use this as a running shoe, but for lifting anything, legs, upper body, you can definitely use this shoe. Plyometrics, this is a decent shoe for that. Super comfortable. And that's probably the most expensive of these shoes, I would say. I think that's a Nike Air Max 90. Air Max. I probably have, I think I have three or four Air Maxes because I just like the look. I like how the shoe's solid. So, um, this is a good shoe for leg day. It's not the best shoe for running. I find them heavy and I don't feel like very athletic when I use this shoe. I just feel like they kind of hold me down. So I wouldn't really use this for plyometrics or running. I'd use this for a leg day or upper body day. So, um, I just find them stylish. I really like the style of that shoe. What is this? Jordan Eclipse Chukka? Jordan Eclipse Chukka. Trevor actually introduced me to this shoe. I was, I said, I need a new black shoe because I had some Nike Air Maxes that were ready to be thrown out. They were garbage. So he sent me this shoe, um, a picture of the shoe, and then I said, you know what? That's my shoe. So this shoe is so comfortable. This is probably one of the most comfortable sneakers that I've ever owned, and it's so cute. It's what did you what do you call this like a weave yeah it's weaved so it's it's just super comfortable you can I wouldn't run in the shoe but you can do anything else Stairmaster other cardio um, you can do legs in this shoe it's not as solid as maybe some other shoes but you definitely you definitely feel enough support so this is an awesome shoe love it absolutely love that shoe Nike KD7 Nike KD7 Kevin Durant the Kevin Durant, the basketball player. I bought these because I thought they were cute and stylish. I didn't buy them because I'm going to play basketball in them, even though I could. I just thought they were super stylish, and they don't match a lot of my outfits, so I can only wear them sometimes. But they are a pretty comfortable shoe. Not a running shoe, but you could definitely lift in this shoe. You can get in and out of the shoe easily. I like that because it has the Velcro, so I find like it's easy to get the, put these on and, and run out the door. So this is a, a decent training shoe. I wouldn't say better than the, what's my first one, my favorite? The Zoom, Pegasus 7? 34. 34? 34. Yeah, it's the 34th iteration of that. 34. 34th, wow. Uh, so it's not as good as that, but it's definitely stylish and just something different. I don't see many people in the gym with this shoe, so if you want to be different, we can go with the KD. So those are five of probably the shoes that I wear the most. I do have other shoes, but if I don't find that they're comfortable to train in or I don't feel like I'm gonna give my all in that shoe, then I, I tend to not wear it. So then I, I 
put those shoes in categories of kind of casual wear. So when I'm just running around town or something, I'll wear my other sneakers that I'm not using in the gym. So that's the way that I use my top five sneakers. If you have any questions, ask Trevor, not me, because he knows everything about shoes. So whenever I need a new shoe, I'll say, what's the newest, the cutest, what's the best running shoe, what's this, what's that, and then he lets me know and then I get it. So he's my shoe consult. Con how do you say that? Shoe um, consultant? consultant. That's what it is. He's a shoe consultant. So that is my shoe, the 411 on my shoes. If you guys want to do heels next time, if you want to do, I don't know, what, what, what else? Training what, equipment. Training equipment. I mean, what else? I mean, anything. We can, we can just review it right here at this table. We can do that. So, but that's it. Anything else, Trevor? We good? Good to go? Say peace out, bye. Peace out, bye.